Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to episode 137 of this Let's Play series of Star Trek Online. My name is Winters and you are most welcome. So we're on to the next mission, excuse me, <clears throat> in the Iconium War story arc, but it's actually the second last mission, uh, and it's called Butterfly. Uh, so let's get our mission brief. The research teams in the Kiana system require your assistance. They have been running thousands of temporal incursion simulations of how to use the Krenim weapon. But I need an officer with field experience to evaluate the project and its feasibility. You will participate in a focus test of the most promising options. A blade cuts both ways. We must be sure that what this weapon can do to the Iconians does not cause greater harm to us. Okay, so this is once again taking us to the Kiana system, which we've already traveled to. Uh, probably the most interesting item that comes from this, this is actually going to be something that we're going to put on our build, is this science console, Temporal Disentanglement Suit, Mark 12, and it obviously can be upgraded. It gives a 4% auxiliary power setting, so that's plus 4 to our auxiliary power down here. It also gives a plus 20% maximum shield capacity and then a 0 to 2.5 crit chance based on auxiliary power level and a 0 to 10% crit severity based on auxiliary power level and reduces damage to shields by 3%. That is a very very good console and it's something that should be considered for most builds. Um, Depending on your build, you may or may not want it, obviously, but uh, it's one that we are definitely going to get our hands on. We are definitely going to use. Uh, there are a number of other items uh, that um, are part of the set, like the uh, warp core. Uh, what I will say about this is, if you're running a Tetrion build, then you may want this infused Tetrion beam array along with that console and uh, benefit from the two-piece set. Um, for example, if your ship has three aft weapon slots, you can put this Tetrion omnidirectional beam array on. Then you can have, let's say, the Borg kinetic cutting beam, which is also an uh, omnidirectional beam. And you could craft in the R&D system a Tetrion uh, beam array as well, which means in all three slots you could have om omnidirectional beams. Uh, which will give you a total of, let's say if you're flying a science ship, six weapons firing forward all the time. Uh, so, yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting thing to keep in mind. Um, but, yeah, anyway, let's accept this and we will jump in and begin the mission, Butterfly. Welcome, Captain Nog might... <clears throat> Excuse me. So we are going to meet Captain Nog. And he is in the research area of the research lab. Here he is. It's a bit pretty dark in here. I wish I was... We've tried... Actually, exactly the three... So, in a nutshell, what we're doing here... Um... Hello. Maybe this... The number of... It's the... Be Once we... Uh... We're here to assess the feasibility of uh, different scenarios that the team have been working on. And uh, th there's going to be three of them in total. And this is a holodeck, so we're actually going into the holodeck now. We're going to run the program, and we're going to see what happens. And uh, the best out of all three Captain, we will actually sir, do. The Dominions and how this works is the, the Krenim weapon. Sir. Um, it's going to remove something from time. Basically, the the thing that the weapon will target will never have existed ever at all. Like and never. it will affect the Iconian so this war doesn't happen. Um, if When you get onto this episode, talk to the NPCs, listen to what they have to say, and you'll find out exactly what's going on in this scenario. But as you can see... USS Things are pretty bad. We uh, we obviously got our ass handed to us by somebody. 
So, uh, yeah, this is one simulation. We gather all the data and then we end the program, which I think is pretty cool. The way they do that, like, you know, we were on a ship and then they ended the program. I think that's a really cool effect that they've managed to incorporate into the game. So, this is the Alpha team leader. And Sorry, from what we can piece together. Now we move on to Beta. Another one. None of the simi. Okay. Don't mind, Noi. I think. My name. It is a pleasure to meet you. Both Captain Nog and Seven speak highly of you. I just want to point out uh, this species. Who do you think it looks like? What species does it look like? I'll give you a clue. You will have to have watched Star Trek Enterprise. So this might be a, a, an idea of what's coming up. But basically, actually I should... Um, no, do you know what? I'll, I'll tell you that when we get finished here. I hope I remember now. Okay, so we're on Voyager. We've got a number of Delta Quadrant species here. This is an... No, it's eventual. We're all having a nice chit-chat. We've always... I should be... We've always... The Melon... Are you here to... We don't... So we're basically doing the same thing. We're seeing what yes, happens if we, we yes. remove with. a particular item from the timeline. What do you want? What, what will actually happen? And um, as before, we will gather all the data and we will go back. And yeah. End simulation. Boom. There we are yet again. I think it's really cool. So, um, you may remember Noi. I think it is Noi anyway. Uh, yeah. All right. This guy. All right. Noi, who has a real attitude problem and um, needs a kick in the ass. And this particular person that I pointed out to you a couple of minutes ago, um, they're something of an item. Uh, so that is important to Damn. This keep in mind. You must ex something's going to happen uh, here later in the story. Hello, true. The pro. Ah, yeah, bad. the pro. Right, now we're going to test the third option simulation gamma. And we're on board a Romulan ship now, it seems. Oh, wait, no, I have to go over here first. <clears throat> ah, so. Doors sealed. Uh, then we go to this console. I took the long way. Thank you for playing. The, 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 the ton has been. Thank you. If I, I know. Okay. Now we go back out. So we have to unseal the doors. Secret to me. My friends, it is time we forge our own destiny. A destiny free from the tyranny of the Tal Shiar. If we leave, we will have a better, brighter future than what they would allow us. I know this is a step into the unknown, but it is a step we will take together. Throw off your chains. We will join our brothers and sisters in freedom. So, seems we were um, part of a mutiny or something there. Anyway, I wanted uh, to. Let we finish up this scenario, so we just have to download the data. Right. That is the most pro the readings the day the political Alright, we talk to Nog again. This last this the simul 
Make the inc And now we leave. I'm going to, excuse me, remove this item from the timeline. Basically, we choose um, Operation Gamma, or the the third option. Now, we expected to see some Borg activity, but this can't be right. Target acquired and locked. Activating weapon. Incursion complete. It will be good to see the world of my birth again. So, from removing an asteroid, it affected the timeline. And they're hoping Elements. now that new Romulus, that or Romulus? Romulus, was never destroyed. It's been completely assimilated. Dum dum dum. Yes, I think we have a problem. I agree that this is the whole system can't be assimilated, can it? That is a lot of Borg. So after removing that one comet, meteor, asteroid, it completely changed everything. And Romulus was never destroyed, but it was overtaken by the Borg. So, yeah, things haven't quite worked out the way that they thought. Uh, according to Borg ships? So we have to try and First come up with the Klingons, now the Borg. Does everyone steal cloaking technology from us? So now we have to try and come up with uh, a way to rectify the timeline. Uh, sort of quick, you know, on the fly sort of thing. Rear shields failing. Four shields failing. Four reinforcements on an intercept course. Ha, ha, ha. They are no match for me. data to plot a possible solution. I'm going. The controls ahead of us will unlock the bulkheads. So we've the beamed aboard a Borg Unimatrix, All our basically. People, they're Borg. I can't believe we were so wrong. Ah, they've adapted. Okay, let's pull out the Vatleth and start cutting these guys up. Cover me! I'll override the door controls. So to do that fancy maneuver there, I know I've said this before, but basically all what I'm doing is hitting one on my numpad, two, and then the number one again. And uh, it, it does that cool little move. Wait, is that a piece of loot? No. I thought there was a piece of loot there. Okay, moving on. We have to find a way to make this right. How cool is that battle out, huh? Pretty nice. I think it's pretty nice anyway. Okay. Existence is futile. There, that's the access node console we need. Locked. 
We'll have to circumvent their security measures. Wait! Incoming Borg! Here, gold press latinum is building up there. For each kill that we get. Okay, so now we go up this ramp here, interact with the console, and kill some more Borgie Borgies. When we lost the home world, I thought that was the worst thing that could happen to us. Even though you only get one gold pressed latinum per kill, do you know what? I'll bet that that'll build up pretty quickly. This was Romulan technology once, but it's been completely assimilated. <laughs> Akiv? You will become one with the Borg. So, remember Akiv? is futile. Well, we know what happened to Akiv now. Okay, so now we return to the ship. Basically, we were there to get some data. I think it was actually um, sort of like, you know, history files uh, to see what actually happened. How come Romulus, uh, Let's get out of instead here. of being destroyed, um, you know, how did it become assimilated instead? Borg decloaking. <clears throat> and Borg ships like cloaks. I mean, that's just bad news. That's bad news for everybody. Target shields have failed. Transmit the data! Hurry! We're losing the focus on your repairs. We will make sure the data is preserved. Data is compressed and ready. Communications array is ready. Secure channel confirmed. Shields have failed. I'm running the numbers now. If we target the Borg transwarp network, the Borg may never be able to reach Romulus. It is a great risk. The Borg have a great deal of influence target on the timeline, and there is no time to run simulations. Do we have a choice? We do not. Targeting the transwarp network. Firing the weapon, now! are gone, but so is Romulus. Romulus isn't the only thing we lost. Temporal shielding is failing. What happened? The Borg did too much damage to the generators. If we lose the temporal shielding, we'll all reintegrate with the timeline. Has anything else changed? Checking. No. The Deuterians. They're gone. What? How? I see the problem. Twenty years ago, your people tried to replicate the work of the Solanae to protect themselves from the Borg. 
In this timeline, they fail. Emerald shield is at 8%. No, I need to restabilize the shield. I'm downloading my personal files into the shielded core. You'll have all my research notes and everything we've recorded from this mission. You're giving up? When the shield fails, if the Deuterians were lost in the past, then... You'll be lost too! Temporal shield is losing integrity. Is there anything we can do? No, we all knew the risks. I love... So you remember I pointed her out a little while ago. That's why. Okay, uh, where are we going? The conference room. Excuse me. Uh, who do we, who are we talking to here? There's Nog. We found a temp we haven't very. So basically, what Nog was saying there is, uh, we found all this data in the shielded core, and uh, basically, you know, the mission went ahead, uh, even though we didn't know the mission at this point. Um, so yeah. I have a lot of information to analyze. The shielded core appears to have made it through the process intact. It will give us a wealth of data on the timeline and how the changes have affected it. Clearly, you made a mistake somewhere. I still feel this is the best technology available to us, but we will need minds sufficient to the task to operate it. Okay, so there's a reason why I uh, let that dialogue play out. It will become apparent. Um, the most notable thing to say is that Noi is still a dickhead. Uh, plain and simple. He's, yeah, he, that's what he is. Um, anyway, we're beaming up. We have completed the mission. So let's report in and uh, get our Captain reward. Captain Nog tells me that the initial test of the Krinim weapon was less than promising. He says that he and his team have a great deal of data still to analyze. But I do not believe they will find much that will assist us. Removing elements from the time stream is reckless. And while our options are limited, we should not destroy ourselves in a fruitless effort to destroy the Iconians. It is time to consider all of our alternatives. Right. So, we are going to pick the uh, Temporal dis Disentanglement Suit. Uh, Congratulations. Uh, we actually also level up. Very nice. Excellent. So our next mission is Midnight. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I'm actually going to throw this console on now. Um, yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed um, this episode. If you did, please leave a like. That will help me out enormously. If you have any questions or comments, feel, feel free to leave them below. And as always, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. My name is Winters, and I will see you next time. So until then... Take care.